Hello everyone and welcome back to the dork side. I am the dork in the road and today we're going to talk about every bike I've ever owned. That's right everyone, I am the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy. And I'm better than your regular riding buddies because I'm available whenever you want and I come with a mute button. So please, consider subscribing. And don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you know when I post awesome new dual sport and adventure motorcycling content just like this. Here I am everyone, out on my CRF 250L. One of my favorite bikes of all time. The second motorcycle I ever purchased. I've had a few, not as many as some. Um, I haven't had the long motorcycling career that many of you have had, but I know many of you are new to the channel and some of you may not be familiar with my motorcycling history and I get questions now and then. So I thought it might be fun to just kind of run down my journey through the world of motorcycling which bikes I've owned, what order, how that all happened. The first thing you need to know is that this story starts 20 years ago. I got my motorcycle endorsement. I took the Team Oregon class when I was 17 years old. The plan was my dad and I were gonna rebuild a bike that he had, get it running, and it was gonna be my bike. Well, we worked on it a lot, but we never actually got it running. Mostly because we just didn't really have the time that we thought we were gonna have. So I've had my motorcycle endorsement for 23 years. But I've been riding motorcycles for three years. No, four years now, four years. So I started riding, actually riding in 2016. So I got my first motorcycle in 2016. I started shopping and I read an article actually as I was looking for good first bikes, good beginner bikes. Because remember, I had my endorsement for a long time but not a lot of experience. And I read this article called CB300F, the best beginner bike ever. And it was a very compelling article and so I made up my mind that I was just going to keep an eye out for a 300F and try to ride one. It had a lot of the things that I wanted. It's low seat height, unintimidating bike, easy to ride, uh, upright riding position, relatively comfortable. And so um, it sounded good to me as a beginner. It sounded like a great first street bike. I went and test rode one and it was fine but a little underwhelming. And so I started looking a little harder at the 500F which seemed to have everything that the 300F did but was also um, less underwhelming. So I bought a 2016 CB500F some of you may remember it. That was my first bike ever. I love that bike. It was a great first motorcycle for me. I got the 500F. I rode it for a year or so. I uh, rode it to work, rode it all over, put a couple thousand miles on it. And I really started leaning into watching Everide's videos. And I definitely got it in my head, thanks Everide, that I needed a dual sport. I still wanted to have the road functionality, but I wanted something a little bit more off-road capable. And uh, that led me to an exhaustive uh, amount of research. So I landed on TRF 250L. Found a local dealership that let me ride it. Fell in love, went back and picked it up like two days later. So then that was this bike, was my second motorcycle. It's a 2016 that I bought early in 2017. Speaking of dual sports, we're gonna take a gravel road over here. I was over the moon excited at that point because I'd barely ever imagined owning one motorcycle and the fact that I had two, I was like, this is ridiculous. I feel almost like embarrassed. It's like an embarrassment of riches. Like, this is so awesome. I feel so rad, but at the same time, like, um, what's going on here? This guy's turning, okay. Hey friends, moto friends. That's weird, nobody ever turns there. It was kind of mind-blowing to me that I could be a person that owned two motorcycles. So I had two very distinct, very different bikes, right? I had a street bike and I had a dual sport bike. Still spending a lot of time. I started my channel and most of my videos were street bike videos. Just discovered after a while that it wasn't very comfortable, particularly on longer rides. I think it was the seating position was kind of cramped. My knees would always cramp up on me, my hips. The seat wasn't very comfortable. And so I started thinking about something a little bit more comfortable. And I also wanted to go on longer rides and go moto camping and stuff. Basically a lot of research into the things I just said. What's a comfortable upright bike with carrying capacity that can go a long distance led me to, that's reliable and awesome, led me to the Kawasaki Versus 650. So uh, I test rode a bunch of bikes 
You guys may have seen the videos. I rode a V-Strom, I rode an FJ09, I rode that Versus 650, I rode the Versus 1000, and of, them, of all of them, the Versus 650 at the time, which is perfect. But I didn't want to trade in the 500F because I owed too much on it. I wanted to sell it and pay it off. So I didn't trade it in, so for a while there I had three bikes. I'm wearing my new Scorpion mesh jacket, by the way, and I'm like literally cold. 65 degrees out and I'm cold. This thing flows a ton of air. So it's pretty bomb. I'm impressed with it so far. Very comfortable too. Looks cool. But anyway, got the Versus. Really enjoyed the Versus. Got into moto camping. Made some moto camping videos. And then I just started riding this motorcycle a ton. Like, make going in the woods, riding dual sport, riding trails with Duck Fan. Uh, and that led to more dual sport explorations. I got into exploring the woods on my own. And one good thing that came from that is um, we decided that that it was probably time for Lil Dork to have the opportunity to join us. And so we made a deal with her that if she got straight A's for a full year, we would buy her a dirt bike. Well, that little, the little turd did it. So we bought her a CRF 110F that we still have. And then, I don't, you know, looking back on it, I'm not really sure how this happened, but I definitely watched a lot of Baker X Derek videos. And I started getting this hankering for a Grom because they're just awesome, cool little bikes. Uh, that or a, or a Z125. Just a fun little dink around. That was a lot of it. Was I kept seeing ads for Z125s for like $2,500 new. And I was like, man, what a cool, screwing around, not expensive bike to try to have and mess around with. And started watching a lot of Grom videos, a lot of exploration videos. Attention deficit did not help at all watching his videos on his Grom. Especially when he started taking it off-road and doing some of that kind of exploring. So, um... I fell in love with the idea of a Grom, and I uh, eventually bought one. I bought one. So I bought a 2018 ABS Grom, thinking I'm going to ride the hell out of this all over town. Long story short, that Grom is no more. I've since sold it, and I sold it with less than 400 miles on it. So it's so funny, because I would see used ones when I was on the market with almost no miles, and I was like, what the hell is wrong with these people? Who, who buys a new bike, doesn't ride it, and then sells it, but... Apparently me. I just didn't ride it as much as I thought I would and it just sat and it was too nice of a bike to just have sitting and not getting ridden. So I sold it. I sold it to a subscriber who you can visit and meet on the Discord if you'd like because his name, his name is Pre-Owned Corn and he's also an admin on the Dork in the Road Discord which I'll link for you down below if you want to come join the community and hang out with us. I skipped ahead a little bit. So the Grom is sold but another motorcycle appeared in between there and that as some of you know, because a lot of you came on board during my search, was the Honda Africa Twin, the 2816. And so I had come to the conclusion that I was riding off-road a ton and that that was going to be my focus. And I wanted something that opened up, expanded my horizons beyond what the 250L does for that. And so I started thinking adventure bike, true adventure bike, not an adventure tourer like the Versus. Wanted an Africa Twin forever. I was looking hard at V-Stroms. And then this Twin came up with all the, all the mods I wanted. And I was like, babe, this is my dream bike. And my wife, to her credit, looks at me and goes, then just get it. So I did. Two days later, it was mine. So that's how I bought my 2016 Africa Twin. So uh, right now in the garage, I have a 250L, obviously. Little Dork's 110F. I have my Africa Twin. I still have the Versus, even though it's for sale. And then after that, my last, most recent motorcycle is the Bashan Bras 250, which I did not buy. But um, instead, the fantastic people at Peace Sports in Georgia said, hey, do you want to test out and make some videos on this bike? And I was like, oh, yup. And they sent it to me and I put it together and I've ridden it and it's super fun. So thank you to Jeff and everyone else at Peace Sports for that. But that was my last motorcycle purchase. So also in my garage right now is a 2020 Vachon Bras 250. So that's a rambling convoluted recollection of my history as a motorcycle owner. People sometimes are like, how many bikes do you have in your garage? What are you rich? I definitely am not. I just make poor financial decisions. So um, half of them are financed and I, that's why I need to sell the Versus to pay it off because it's still financed. Not rolling in money, I'm just rolling in available credit and hasty, uh, impetuous, impulsive decision making. That's my history. So. Um, thank you for coming along on this rambling rant with me. I hope you enjoyed a little insight into, into my motorcycling journey. And I'm curious, let me know in the comments, how many bikes have you owned and which one that you owned was your favorite? I'd love to hear about your motorcycling journey too. So, but for now, I just want to say thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And as always, please do not forget, it's so important. It's so important you don't forget 
to be excellent to each other. Thank you. Excellent! I love standing up on the street. People look at you real confused. What's this guy doing? I'm being awesome, that's what I'm doing. Get over it. Ooh, a friend, a buddy, a friendo. Oh, that guy's on a 500X. Oregon motorcycle, is that you? You didn't wave, whoever you are.